Science fiction, a genre that transports us beyond the boundaries of our known world, has captivated readers for generations. It allows us to explore fantastical technologies, encounter alien civilizations, and ponder the profound questions about humanity's place in the vast cosmos. Among the genre's towering achievements stands Frank Herbert's Dune, a landmark work published in 1965. Dune's influence extends far beyond its publication date. This epic saga has garnered numerous accolades, including the prestigious Hugo Award for Best Novel. Herbert's masterpiece continues to enthrall readers and inspire new generations of science fiction writers. This ebook delves into the heart of Dune, exploring its captivating story, rich world building, and the enduring themes that continue to resonate with readers today. Part 1 The Spice and the Setting our journey begins on Arrakis, a harsh desert planet also known as Dune. This unforgiving world is shrouded in scorching heat, relentless sandstorms, and colossal sandworms that dominate the landscape. Yet, beneath the unforgiving surface lies a treasure coveted throughout the galaxy, Spice Melange. Melange, a glittering golden substance found only on Arrakis, is the lifeblood of interstellar civilization. It possesses a range of extraordinary properties. Spice extends human lifespans, enhances mental abilities, and allows for faster-than-light travel through the phenomenon known as guild navigation. Without a steady supply of melange, the galactic power structure would crumble, and interstellar travel would grind to a halt. However, Controlling Arrakis is no easy feat. The planet is a brutal and unforgiving environment. The native inhabitants, known as the Freemen, are a fiercely independent and resourceful people. They have adapted to survive in the harsh desert, living a nomadic life and holding a deep reverence for the ecology of their world. The political landscape surrounding Arrakis is equally complex. The Padisha Emperor, the nominal ruler of the known universe, wields immense power. However, his control relies heavily on the great houses, powerful noble families who govern various planets. The emperor assigns control of Arrakis to one of these great houses, setting the stage for a web of alliances, rivalries, and hidden agendas that will shape the fate of the planet and its precious spice. Part 2 House Atreides takes over Arrakis. A new chapter unfolds as the emperor decrees that House Atreides, a noble family known for their honor and integrity, will take over stewardship of Arrakis. Duke Leto Atreides, a respected leader, embraces the challenge with a sense of duty and ambition. Accompanying him are his son, Paul, a young man brimming with potential, and Lady Jessica, Paul's mother and a woman shrouded in mystery. While the emperor's decree appears to be a sign of favor, a closer look reveals a hidden agenda. Arrakis, with its vast spice wealth, is a coveted prize. The previous rulers, the ruthless Harkonnens, were forcibly removed from control. This seemingly generous handover to house Atreides may be a veiled trap orchestrated by the emperor himself. The Harkonnens, fueled by resentment and a thirst for revenge, are unlikely to relinquish their grip on the planet easily. Adding to the intrigue is Lady Jessica's affiliation with the Bene Gesserit, a secretive sisterhood known for their advanced mental and physical training. The Bene Gesserit possess a vast breeding program aimed at creating a superior human, the Kwisatz Haderach. Their motives and their potential involvement in the events on Arrakis remain shrouded in secrecy, casting a shadow of uncertainty over House Atreides' future. Part 3. Betrayal and Survival House Atreides arrives on Arrakis with a sense of optimism, eager to begin their stewardship of the harsh desert planet. Duke Leto focuses on establishing a peaceful coexistence with the Freemen, recognizing their deep understanding of the environment. Paul, 
under the guidance of Gurney Halleck, a loyal warrior sworn to house Atreides, begins honing his combat skills and adapting to the Freeman way of life. Lady Jessica, ever observant, senses a growing unease beneath the surface of this seemingly new beginning. Meanwhile, a shadow looms large. The Harkonnens, the brutal former rulers of Arrakis, are a constant threat. Led by the cunning and merciless Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, they are known for their ruthless tactics and disregard for human life. Spies infiltrate House Atreides, sowing discord and manipulating events from the shadows. The betrayal unfolds like a sandstorm, swift and devastating. The Emperor, driven by his own fear and ambition, has conspired with the Harkonnens to eliminate House Atreides. A brutal attack leaves the city in ruins and throws the entire planet into chaos. Duke Leto falls victim to the treachery, his fate hanging in the balance. Paul, Jessica, and a handful of loyal survivors find themselves stripped of their power and thrust into a desperate fight for survival. They must navigate the treacherous Arrakis landscape, evade relentless Harkonnen pursuit, and forge an uncertain path forward. Paul's unique abilities and Jessica's hidden training with the Bene Gesserit become crucial tools in their struggle against seemingly insurmountable odds. As the harsh realities of betrayal and loss set in, they must find the strength within themselves to not only survive, but also to potentially shape a new future on the unforgiving sands of Dune. Part 4. Paul's Awakening and the Freeman in the wake of devastating betrayal, Paul grapples with the harsh realities of Arrakis. Yet, amidst the loss and despair, a spark of something extraordinary ignites within him. Dreams and visions, fueled by his mother's, Benny Gesserit training, begin to surface. These precognitive abilities hint at a destiny far greater than he could have ever imagined. As Paul ventures deeper into the desert, he encounters the freemen, the indigenous people who have carved out a life of resilience and resourcefulness in the unforgiving environment. Drawn to their fierce independence and deep understanding of the desert ecology, Paul begins to learn their ways. He embraces their harsh lifestyle, mastering the use of the deadly Christ knife and learning to navigate the treacherous sand seas with astonishing skill. The freemen possess a rich culture steeped in reverence for the desert and its harsh beauty. They believe in a messianic figure, the Lisan al Gayeb, who will one day lead them to a better future. Paul's unique abilities and growing connection to their way of life begin to resonate with their prophecies, sparking a glimmer of hope within the freemen community. Lee Kynes, a Freeman leader and planetologist, recognizes the potential within Paul. He becomes a crucial mentor, helping Paul bridge the gap between his noble upbringing and the harsh realities of Freeman life. Through interactions with Lee Kynes and other Freeman, Paul gradually earns their respect and begins to be accepted as one of their own. However, the shadow of Duke Leto's death continues to loom large. His absence leaves a deep void in Paul's life and fuels his determination to not only survive, but to build a future where such injustice won't prevail. As Paul embraces the Freeman way of life and unlocks the true potential of his abilities, the stage is set for a confrontation that could reshape the power dynamics on Arrakis and beyond. Part 5. Conclusion a new beginning. Paul's growing influence among the freemen becomes undeniable. His unique abilities, combined with his understanding of freemen culture and respect for their traditions, solidify his position as a potential leader. News of his visions and prophesied role as the Lisan al Gayeb spreads like wildfire, igniting a spark of rebellion within the oppressed freemen population. Driven by a desire for justice and fueled by their longing for a better future, the freemen unite under Paul's guidance. They begin to secretly train and prepare 
for a potential confrontation with the Harkonnens and the Padisha Emperor's oppressive forces. A formidable rebellion takes root beneath the sands of Dune, threatening to shake the very foundations of galactic power. Dune explores a rich tapestry of themes that transcend the boundaries of science fiction. The struggle for power, both political and personal, takes center stage. The harsh realities of ecology and the delicate balance of a fragile environment are vividly portrayed. Religious beliefs and prophecies intertwine with the harsh realities of survival, raising questions about faith and humanity's search for meaning. Ultimately, Dune ponders the potential within humanity to overcome adversity and forge a new path, hinting at the transformative power of leadership and the enduring spirit of rebellion. However, Paul's journey is far from over. Leading a rebellion against a vast interstellar empire will come with immense challenges and sacrifices. The future remains shrouded in uncertainty. Will Paul succeed in liberating the freemen and ushering in a new era for Arrakis? Or will the sands of doom claim another victim in this complex dance of power, politics, and destiny? The answers lie in the pages beyond this brief exploration, waiting to be discovered by those who dare to venture deeper into the captivating world of Dune.